I'm Rich Drew, pro mountain bike rider. I'm Sarah Drew, not a pro mountain bike rider. Welcome, Welcome to the Couples, Couples Ride, ride series. series. All right, what's happening, crew? It's time for another Couples Ride series. Cheers, Cheers. here from Burnett, Texas. Uh, and we're Stop. It's Burnett. Texan here? I know. Burn it, burn it, can't you learn it? Okay. Try again. <laughs> we're, uh, we're in Burn It, <laughs> Texas, because I learned it. <laughs> we're at a place called Spider Mountain. So some of you probably know what Spider Mountain is. Uh, it is Texas's only lift serve bike park. So year round riding, a place that we have been a couple times. Well, not we, but me and the boys have been. Uh, made some videos, so we decided let's come back because I dig it. It's a rad place. and. I thought Mama Bear not only would like to ride the park, but as a Texan, she loves the hill country, and right. there's a lot of other things to do here. Yeah, I, I've grown up coming to the hill country. I grew up in Houston, and so came here a lot, mainly floated the river a ton. Um, so to come back and get to enjoy <laughs> some of that, yeah. Um, but getting to enjoy it with you and Dex, and it's a cool place, so I'm stoked to go ride it and check it out. I've only been in a bike park, I guess twice, You've two summers ago and yeah, just like a, a rundown or something not a lot i haven't spent a lot of time so and you were on one of my large bikes oh, that's right yeah so now we got a delano peak that fits you <laughs> yeah <laughs> dialed in and ready a uh, decent amount of runs here so it's early 7 30 lift is running and the weather's nice nice that's enough nice. for us to be in long sleeves it's gonna warm up but but still warm enough to be drinking cold brew that's right all right so i, I think it's time to go hop on the lift, get some laps in. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think you need to drink some more of that. I do need to drink a little more of this, and then we'll, we'll hit the slopes. The right. slopes, the trails. Are you ready? <laughs> drink this and you will be. Mm. <sighs> really struggling with these berms. I know, but here, there's a couple things that are going for you. For one, <laughs> there's no baby heads or marbles. True. Um, two, I think that in a different environment, you're not already defeated. But it's up to you, babe. I mean, I don't want you to be uncomfortable. No, let's practice them. I think All that's right. a good idea. All right. Just, Just be nice. I know, but think of the geometry. Come in high and follow the turn through. Lean the, get your hips out and lean the bike. Okay. And for the love of God, don't grab the brakes. Please. Okay, okay. Good, let off the brakes. Hips out. Great. Hips out. Lean the bike. Smashed it. Smashed it. Now nobody's going to believe that you had any problems because you made it look so good. So I fell about probably three months ago now in a tight, rocky downhill berm. And it's just really <laughs> messed with my mind. And so this is a really good section right here to practice them and lean the bike and not grab a handful of front brake like I tend to do. So it's feeling better. So I'm gonna try them again. Whoa, that's a unit to the left. When it's smooth, I knew what to do, but I wasn't expecting. And that's the, where I think I run into issues on the trail if it's not smooth. The moment it takes me to think because I like hit this rock, 
I forgot about what I was supposed to do through the turn. Like I, that split yeah, but, second. But the rock is already there. So if you were where you should be coming in, the oh, rock would, wouldn't even matter. Okay. So yeah, you need to think about, <clears throat> set that up here. When you come out, make sure you're pointed to where you want to yeah. go to the outside. Now, again, this is relative. If you come in faster, it's going to be hard to get out there. But this time, try to come through there so then you're set up better for the other one. Okay. Good job, kid. So remember this, two points of contact. So when you're coming into the turn and you're leaning the bike, guide with the inside hand. Don't push with the outside. Because if you're pushing with the outside, your weight's heavy and that's when the front will catch. Okay. Lean this way, weight on the outside foot. That yeah. wasn't very good. <laughs> okay, so no, that was, it was good. Technique wise, it was good, but your, your entry was bad. So we talked about it, look up. Yeah. When you came through here, you want to look up so you can see. You talked about this spooking you. If you were set up out here, that never would have come into play. Yeah. So very simply, look, eyes up, and when you get set up into the turn, come in out here, and you can always come down. Okay. If you come in low, you're going to go up high, and the geometry's bad. You can end up flipping over. You can see people have done it. Yeah, and then it messed me up for the next yeah. turn because I wasn't in the right spot. Yeah. All right. Okay. Got to begin. All right. Okay, <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. I realized I was putting my weight on the outer hand. Yeah. And even through the berm, I was like, oh wait. And it felt so much smoother as the moment I and weighted to that. So you, what's funny is, you know what cued me to that? It wasn't even you. It was sitting here watching multiple people come through and I'm looking at them all going, wait a minute, something's wrong. And I watch and every single one of them is trying to steer the bike with the outside hand. And so they're pushing on the outside hand and it's turning too sharp. Yeah. It's steering. And so then they're trying to correct and that's part of Ooh, why they're all wonky. Maybe that's why I fell in that turn. There could have been other reasons too. <laughs> there were about eight different reasons why I fell in that turn. Look at that inside arm straight. There you go. Nice work, kid. That was good. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like I made some progress. You made some great progress. I'm hungry. Now Can you feed I'm feeling. Me? Yeah, you want some lunch? I do. All right, let's go. Good thing the cabin's right there. <laughs> Another couple's ride in the books, end of a fun weekend at Spider Mountain. I decided I'd let Mama choose how we close this one out. Yeah. And, uh, if you're in a small town in Texas, you better get the best treat in Texas here at the DQ. So. You know, we fancy like Dairy Queen after hot rides. Get some blizzards or a dip cone. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, so. your career as a country music singer, probably not going to no, take off. No, don't think so. Darn it. <laughs> but you did well riding. I was impressed. Yeah, thank you. It started off rough. Yeah. We were going to film on Friday, and I was just really struggling. I haven't ridden a ton lately, and I've really had issues on berms after my fall a couple months ago. So um, kind of called it quits on that day and let you do some exploring and riding. But today was good. No, today was great. And I think it's important to understand too. Part of this is to help people understand how to better ride with a significant other. Mm -hmm. And if they're not feeling it, shut it down. Don't put any pressure. And so I'm glad we're to the point where we can figure that out. But I was also excited to know that you were having problems with turns in that spot on Sidewinder was a perfect spot to try to get over that. Yeah. Um, and then I'm glad the input of keep the weight on the inside hand helped. Yeah, that made a huge difference. You crushed it. I had fun, babe. Thank you. I just wish now, I, mean, I wish I had an extra day. Okay, we can I'd love to hit, hit some more trails. And I mean, it was fun too, just the rest of the weekend getting to go paddle boarding, spend some time in the water. Dex had a blast. So we'll have to come back for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely be back. So until then, follow along couple other ride series episodes in the books and the next one we're going to show you around our home trails also known as the mountain bike capital of the world bentonville arkansas that's right so until then follow along behind the scenes at the rich drew sarah colvin drew on instagram if you have any questions about the ride series shoot her a message yeah. info at the ride series mtb.com so 
We're gonna enjoy the blizzard that's melting. And do I, can I close this one out? It's all you, babe. Lovebirds, out. Ha, ha, ha.